Kamala Harris's criticism of Donald Trump, particularly her claim that his weak and unstable staff might be shielding him, echoes a familiar line of attack from Democrats who question Trump's temperament and suitability for leadership. She points to his absence from the 60 Minutes interview and the second round of debates as supposed proof of his vulnerability or fear of facing public scrutiny. He is unwilling to do a 60 Minutes interview. Like every other major party candidate has done for more than half a century. He is unwilling to meet for a second debate. And here's the thing, here's the thing, it makes you wonder, it makes you wonder, why does his staff want him to hide away? One must question, one must question, are they afraid that people will see that he is too weak and unstable? these reasons and so many more, it is time to turn the page. However, this claim is likely to be viewed as a partisan jab that overlooks the broader strategy behind Trump's media appearances. Trump supporters argue that his avoidance of certain formats, like the 60 Minutes interview, stems from a justifiable distrust of mainstream media, which they see as overwhelmingly biased and hostile toward him. From their perspective, these outlets aren't interested in providing balanced or fair coverage, but are instead aligned with progressive elites who aim to discredit Trump at every turn. For this reason, his team makes calculated decisions about where and when to engage with the press. Interestingly, Harris's portrayal of Trump as weak contrasts with how many of his supporters see him as a figure of unyielding strength willing to take on the political establishment, hostile media, and even foreign adversaries. To them, Trump represents resilience, someone who refuses to back down in the face of intense opposition. Harris's accusations, rather than weakening Trump's image, often reinforce the narrative among his base that the political elite continually target him because he dares to challenge the status quo. In this light, Harris's critique is likely to resonate only with those already inclined to question Trump's leadership. For his supporters, it may simply serve as further proof of the establishment's efforts to undermine a leader who they believe is uniquely positioned to stand up against entrenched power structures.